And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Hunters. That's what we're calling this deck. This is going to be a, a mostly all Demacia deck built around challengers, um, but we're heading on over to Bilgewater for the hunting fleet. So that, that's our hunters. Plus like all of our challengers are kind of like, they're kind of like hunters, right? Because they hunt out the um, opponent's units, the enemies, and kill them. So hunting fleet... If you don't know this card, 4 mana 6-6, six, six. when I'm summoned, you summon a golden narwhal for your opponent. Not for you. That would be great if you got a 4 mana 6-6 six, six and a 2 mana 2-3 two, elusive. But your opponent gets this 2-3 elusive that's also vulnerable, and so that helps um, you how you can challenge that. You can have like your hunting fleet immediately challenge the golden narwhal and kill it. And of course with Jarvan, you want your allies to survive 4 plus strikes from the enemy blockers. So that's just a, a good way to survive an enemy strike from um, a blocker the other build water card that we got in here is hired gun that can give the strongest enemy vulnerable that should help out also we got these honored lords they can um whenever they challenge they get barrier so maybe hired gun or the hunting or like the golden narwhal right like that has the vulnerable so the uh honored lord can challenge it and it'll give it and it'll get a barrier we also got some laurent duelist a card that i always think is underrated a nice Nice body, a 4-2 for 3. You know, it's like Senna-sized. But then it can also give an ally challenger this round. And so you can give, like, the Honored Lord challenger this round, for example. Or maybe even uh, later on, you can give, like, Hunting Fleet challenger again, since it's so big. Or Garen or Jarvan give the, our champions challenger. Because both these ch champions are very good at striking smaller units and surviving. So yeah, this looks like a pretty cool deck. Pretty cool Vanguard Bannerman deck here. Alright, so we're going to go play our five games in... Ranked with Jarvan Hunters. Thanks, Sky Trooper. Yeah, a lot of these, like, these are all, like, viewer submitted donation decks today. Oh, I didn't put that on the Shreem of Imer. I didn't make any of these decks today. All right, playing a Garen Mirror. They're going Noxus. Noxus gives Garen a bunch of fight spells, like Whirling Deaths and Bloody Business and things like that. Sharp Sight is good. I'm going to keep Sharp Sight. But I kind of want to just mulligan all this. I, yeah, let's just see if we get a different curve. Because we only have nine spells in the deck. So three sharp sight, three single combat, and then one repost and two concerted strikes. So we're not a very spell heavy deck, which is good. You don't want to be with this deck. But the matchup that we're facing, this is all going to be about whoever can control the board. And Sharp Sight can really help us control the board. I like Riven. What are my thoughts on Riven at the moment? I like Riven. Um, yeah, I think Riven's a, a well-designed card and everything. The only thing I would change about Riven... like, So the it used to be that... So Riven has like three support cards that also make those blade fragments. The one drop, the two drop, and then the, the champion spell. They used to all be complete, like pretty unplayable. They at least they changed the one drop to make it better as a two one, but still the the two drop and the champion spell are pretty pretty bad, especially the champion spell. And so I mean I think that's that's what I would I wouldn't really focus on. Like if you want to improve Riven, I don't think you need to improve the actual card, but I think that improving the two drop and the champion spell, both of those, um, are good options. I think this is going to be the worst hand that we're going to get in the five games. Who does not know the name Laurent? So I was worried about doing this during combat. Um, maybe I should have, but I was just kind of worried about dying. Just doing that during combat with us only at two life. All right, so it would not be a bad time to 
you know, attack put in Jarvan. It's never really a bad time for that. Or I can just go, you know, Bannerman plus Sharp Sight. This works out. This would be them having zero bodies, me having two. So that's what I was worried about of using the concerted strike during combat. It's so like they they had whirling death that they would have been able to use and blow it up. Victory requires a sharp blade. That's a great card because you know it'll only costs two mana. Demacia. Yep, so they just had uh, much cheaper units. I should have kept my two mana units. Never even played Sharp Sight. All right, so it's a bad mulligan by me, and then also I just don't—I don't think we're going to draw nearly as bad for any other game. I think that's as, as bad as it's going to look. That's. <laughs> That's like bottom 5% of hands that, that we're going to have, ever. Yeah, I mulliganed the, the Bright Seal Protector, right? Like, the, the worst, like, two drop by itself. But yeah, that, that, was the, that was definitely the mistake that I wouldn't do again. Raise your weapon, Sunwood! Devotion to battle. Okay. So we have a playable two drop this time. Years take, experience gives. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. Ready weapons. No honor in this. Okay, so they've had two things die. We had one thing die. But we also gave them a gem. I want to play the other protege side of the two mana for sharp side available now. Passing doesn't sound like a bad option. I serve my people with pride. Your fury is nothing against Okay, so the odds of the odds of getting no one, two, or three mana three drop after we mulligan three cards. And then by turn three was one out of four hundred and thirty-two. Yeah, so not expecting that to happen again. We're not going to let them kill the Screeching Dragon. Yeah, so I guess that, that Concerted Strike, surviving the Concerted Strike, really helps level up the Jarvan, right? Because they had the... Yeah, like, these were all just this... <laughs> Jarvan went from zero to leveled up right here. All right, the Protégé survived. And then both of those struck the Dragon, so the Dragon survived twice. Awesome. All right, that's going to be game. Raise our banners. Demacia prevails. Thresh Nasus. All 
All right, so not keeping things <clears throat> that cost four plus mana if I don't have anything else to play first. Turns that into a 2 2. I go down to 18. Who's on top of the bounty board today? The soul wears away like rains of sand. That's pretty rough. Sand spinner's awesome. Keep the pace. You've hurt him. You won't leave a scratch. I've learned a trick or two. All right, so I'm just gonna save the spell mana for Garen. I guess I could use Hunting Fleet, Kill Thrash. No, I want, I want Garen. Yeah, I assume they're going to kill something else. I love Garen Kill Thrash. So that Garen can level up. It's only this round. What's the Garen challenging it? I don't think I can challenge the 4-2 with Garen. It's just too likely that they can sacrifice. Whoops. We do what is right. They must sing of our deeds. I guess we get the two on. Oh, he's got more Glimpse Beyonds? Alright, so that's, that's two Glimpse Beyonds, though, they played. That's good. See what we see. Stop! All three Glimpse Beyonds? Gross. I'll never level up this Garen. Definitely going Bannerman. We've drawn two of our bilge water cards so far, so there's three left. Ugh. 
Okay, at least it's not Nasus. Nasus is going to be large now. Nasus is going to be very large. This is too bad we, we just can't ever level up Garen. Finally get to level up Garen. Okay, so round start rally. Yeah, they've drawn eight extra cards, three glimpse beyonds, a spear leech. Yeah, they're going to be able to open attack with Thresh and put in Nasus. Nasus is going to be huge. This looks like a loss. The Glimpse Beyonds were really clutch. They, they won this game for my opponent. Glimpse Beyond's one. Hey, I'm glad to hear that, Scorpy. Casino deck's gonna be a, a comfort deck for you to until with. Glad to hear it. Alright, what do we got? LeBlanc Sivir. I like our hand. We you know, keep the two spell man after turn two to be able to have Garen plus single combat. Cool, and have the Jarvan later. The desert by my side. Alright, so they have a LeBlanc or a Sivir. I think I'll just take the two and then see... Um, you know, because like, if it's LeBlanc, like, Tracker challenging LeBlanc is definitely uh, something that's really good. So, like, it's tough for them to play LeBlanc. Alright, never mind. Or it's easy for them to play LeBlanc. One, two. Smoke and mirrors. Fortunately, nothing to do here. Didn't draw anything to really play on that turn. Got them for our God. And now playing, playing Garen's not easy. I know what I'm worth. I guess I have a backup Garen if they do have Whirling Death. I have a backup Garen. Oh, yeah, I could have blocked Sivir instead of the 3 1. Oh, yeah. I've been at 10. Good point. The young prince. That was not good for me. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. We stand strong. Ricochet has been a lot better for my opponents than for me. I'm worried about Jarvan attack. Like if I if I go attack with Garen, put Jarvan into play, I'm I'm really worried about like this is like a whirling death deck. Like they just whirling death kill my Garen. Um, 
I'm worried about that, but I'm also worried about like I don't I don't really have many blockers on like an attack coming back. I wanted to put two bodies into play. Only the finest serve. We've been getting got by Glory Seeker pretty good. This is my best hope. This would, you know, not let them level up the Sivir first. Yeah, they had Whirling Death. They went champion turn three, champion turn four. I went protege on three and absolutely nothing on four. It was tur turn four, they play Sivir, I play nothing. That's That was the game. I like that we have the attack token on turn two with the tracker protector. Uh, I hope they play a one drop though for us to be able to challenge. Maybe like Dustbringer or something. I mean, I, I think our deck's better than what than what we've shown in these games. I think that the first game was as bad as like the deck can possibly look, and then that game like that was also just really awkward draws of. You know, drawing just multiple Garens and Jarvan and stuff and not having anything to play on turn four. Like, like we've had, like, so two of those losses have really been some, um, like, some pretty rough circumstances. Like, that's not going to happen that often that we had nothing to play turns one, two, and three, like the first game. And then last game, not anything to play on turn four. Like, you know, because I, I kept... I kept the, the tracker and the protege, a one drop and a three drop. And so by turn four, and we mulliganed one card. Er, no, we didn't mulligan anything. So no mulligans. But still, by the first four draws, we didn't draw anything that cost four or less to play. You know, not, just nothing. <laughs> you know, we drew like a, another spell, a Jarvan, a, another Garen, and something else. I guess another spell. Two spells in those two. Like these are these are situations that should not happen very often at all. Like Cuz you know, we're we're even playing extra four drops with having the hunting fleets. We have 31 units in this deck. Nine of them we couldn't play. So like the other 22 so 20. So, <clears throat> you know, we have 20 cards that I just need to draw, like, one of those 20 cards last turn by turn four, and we drew zero of the 20. It's just not going to happen very often. Yeah, so we had 97% chance. So, like, the first, the first one, it was only a, you know, whenever we did the math... The first one it was like a 0.2% chance of happening, and then that one was a 3% chance of happening. Right, it's like these are these are some weird circumstances of why we're losing these games. We hit a 0.2% and then a 3%. We could, we could play another 100 games and not have anything like this happen. Yeah, Hawktie Bot can figure out some odds for you. Alright, 
All right, so we both have three cards in hand, but I got a three-two. So now we, now I have basically, I just have, have an extra card. I have the two mana, the extra card, but we got a double Jarvin. Feels like a Nocturne or a Diana. Feels like a champion over there. Oh, that's not a champion. That thing's pretty big. Alright, so if I block like this, we go down to five. Which is not very much life. And then I can't, like, put Jarvan into play attacking. So I guess I have to Sharp Sight my 2-3 and keep it alive. Save if I go to 3 if I don't block that and then kill it with Jarvan. Yeah, I could see doing that. That allows me to keep sharp side to be able to block the flight after this. I also have the three mana for Cataclysm. If they play something like, you know, if I if we want to Cataclysm here. Don't need a Cataclysm, that thing. The last card was the Priestess with the Invoke. Gross. You know, this card's a celestial card, of course. One mana short from all three of these. Temperamental as moonlight. So they have a celestial card, and the new card they just drew. Not a bad card. It does kind of mean I just lose. I think that's game over. Because of the you know, they get to gem. I don't think there's anything I can do to like that I think that was the perfect card. Well I guess okay, so I, I have to just challenge something. No, because I can't No, that doesn't work. Yeah, I guess two turns ago I should have should have just used the sharp side and blocked the elusive how I didn't block the five three. Yeah, that that's what I really should have done. That was it's too late to do that now, but yeah, that's what I should have done. There's nothing I can do to to survive this. Still nothing. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 the thing. I, I ran out of time there that that turn, but yep, I need to sharp sight block that the flight. That's too bad. All right, so there we go. So that was Jarvan Hunters again. A better deck than what we showed here with the record. Um, Diana Nocturne's awesome. That's that's a deck that I think is is just awesome. Opponent had you know like I I made one misplay. Opponent did have a you know a good hand though with all those those fearsomes and lots of damage in very fast. But we had two games like where we drew, um, you know really really bad. We had the the first game where we mulligan and didn't have any of proto you know anything to play before turn four. And then we had the next game where I kept the one, kept the three. But still, after four turns, I didn't have anything to play on turn four. You know, no Bannerman, Fleet, Protégé, Duelist, Honored honored Lord, Hired Gun, Bright Seal Protector, or Fleet Feather Tracker. None of those uh, cards after the first four draws. And so we lost... Uh, so we lost to some other aggressive decks, right? Like, we had other decks that were just going underneath us. That's what, that's what we had there, because I wasn't uh, able to stabilize. I don't know if I would necessarily change anything going forward. I think really the thing that that's kind of tough. I, th it's tough playing six fives and three threes. I think that's that's something that's kind of tough as, as we saw with those games. Like it's it's a lot of top end. Um, this would be a much better Fiora deck than Garen deck 
or you know like it'd just be nice on the curve right it'd just be much better curve wise to play fiora i'm talking about like you know before before the nerf and everything it'd just be a lot better to have fiora at three like with this with this other stuff um but you know i don't know if like three two fiora is really worth playing now but a really cool idea um sorry i couldn't do better that's life sometimes we overperform sometimes we underperform and i think that i could i think that like if i run this deck right back with five more games i would be very confident i would go three and two but this five game small sample ended up going one and four all right but anyway those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course as always feel free to leave those comments as well i'd appreciate it but thank you so much for watching some jarvan hunters and i'll see you for the next video